about that. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Avery here, and lo and behold, we have a ban list. Um, we were not expecting this until, well, at least I wasn't expecting it until after October, but Konami decided to just out of nowhere update it today. So the next update after this will be no sooner than January 17th, 2022. So we're looking at about a four and a half month long format. And keep in mind that this format is going to encompass flunderies, uh, the changes on this ban list, um, it's pretty much going to encompass Tri-Brigade. Uh, they really didn't touch much of any decks. So let's get into this ban list here, because this is a bit wild. So they only banned one card, and they banned Zodiac Barrage. So this makes a lot of sense, right? Because of the fact that, you know, Zodiac could be used as a stun engine to just drop out Zeus, uh, you had Tri-Brigade Zodiac, so this is just hurting the consistency a whole lot more of Zodiac. You know, you've got Dryden Band, you've got Broad Bowl Band, you've got Barrage Band. I mean, there is no way that Zodiac can really function as a deck anymore. I just don't see how. When there's three cards in an archetype that are just banned, it's, it's banned. It's banned. <laughs> That's it for the bans. For the limits, they limited EVA. So this is obviously a major consistency hit to Drytrons, and Eva was just a busted card, being able to get all the searches that you could off of the one Eva, and then have multiple copies of it, like, it, it, it needed to be limited. It doesn't kill Drytron, they still have access to the Eva, but they're not going to be able to get to it as quickly as they normally could, or as consistently. Um, they also limited Prank Kid's Meow Meow Moo. Um, I I'm not really familiar with Prank Kids. I thought they only played one copy, but it makes sense that they would play multiple because that's their one card starter. So basically now the game becomes, if you don't hit the Meow Meow Moo with um, a negate, or if you do, you got to hope to God that the player, that the Prank Kids player doesn't have cross out designator. Um, if the Prank, if the Meow Moo gets negated, Prank Kids are going to lose. Um, that's pretty much what that deck comes down to now at this point. Uh, they also limited Fire Formation Tenki. So, you know, it is a consistency hit to Tri-Brigade, but at the same time, I mean, you're taking away two copies of a Rota for Tri-Brigade. They still have one copy of it. I really don't think that this was enough to Tri-Brigade. I think that they should have done more. Um, we're going to have to wait and see what happens with this, but I think that Tri-Brigade is still going to be the best deck of the format. Then at 2 and 3, we've got Nessie at 2. Uh, Skull Crabat Joker at 2, Etelli at 2, and Double Iris Magician at 3. Malicious is still, of course, at 2. This is actually rather interesting what they did with the Unlimits and the Semi-Limits. Nessie going from 1 to 2 is interesting. I think you might see um, some more Grim Maju decks kind of running around. Probably not by much, because it's only one extra copy of Nessie. Um, Skull Crabat Joker at 2 is fine. I really don't think Pendulums are really going to be doing much of, any, much of anything anyways, just because they don't have Electromite. Um, Etelia 2 helps mutants. Mutants are still going to be irrelevant. Um, although, Etelia 2 helps Cosmo. I'm really interested to see if more people are going to pick up Cosmo. Because having that second copy of Etelia, you are now, in theory, playing five copies of Farm Girl. And Farm Girl is your starter in the deck. I mean, it really, really is. I remember when I topped with Cosmo, which you can find the deck profile on my channel from a couple years back, shameless plug. Um, I remember talking about how Etel was just such a busted card in the deck. And when it got hit, it really uh, lessened the power of Cosmo. So having it at two is, is really nice to see. I don't think it's going to come back to three unless we don't see it do anything. Um, Konami, come January, they might put Etel at three, which... It has not been at three for probably over a decade. And Double Iris Magician at three, cool. I mean, Pendulums really aren't doing anything at this point in time. So not many changes to the list. I mean, we're looking at what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight changes. Not a big list. Um, and I think Crossout Designator uh, is just going to have to splash into the format once the tins come out. And we're just going to have to see what it does. Um, I think that that's really going to shake up the format. We're going to see much more different kinds of deck building um, come this ban list of Yu-Gi-Oh! in this new format. Also, I do know that Konami recently put something out to OTS stores saying that regionals can only be over remote duels. Uh, I haven't made a video about that because I'm waiting to see what Konami will officially say. Um, but if that is the case, you know, then this ban list is irrelevant because people still aren't going to be playing Yu-Gi-Oh! But anyways, you guys, let me know what you think of this ban list. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.